Hello. Hey, this is Sherry. And I just read a poem and offered some thoughts about Father's Day over on my Present Perfect Gifts group because I wanted to encourage people around a certain kind of heartfelt, meaningful gift for Father's Day. But I realized after I did it that I really wanted to share a poem with you guys, with all my friends, people on my my regular Facebook feed. And so I, I just started it up again because I absolutely love this poem. And I also, I really feel like um, some thoughts, some thoughts around Father's Day that I really want to share with everyone, not just around um, giving creative and meaningful gifts, but some thoughts about how holidays like Father's Day and Mother's Day and, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving, how they can be kind of hard days for a lot of people and how important it is to keep this in mind as those of us who are celebrating them, um, that we keep in mind people who may be having a hard time. And one of the things that, you know, a lot of people who know me know that I talk about my mom all the time. I, I love my mom so much and she um, she's such an inspiration to me. And you, you may have realized like, I don't really talk about my dad. And it's because I didn't grow up with him. Uh, he, when I was very young, he left and created a life for himself in uh, Florida. And so we really didn't spend very much time together. In fact, in my whole life, I've really not seen him much. And so Father's Day is an interesting time for me personally. It always sort of um, gives me that little bit of pause about my own um, not growing up with a dad and also makes me think a lot about people who have played that role in my life. And um, I've got so many thoughts. I think, I think the thing is too, before I forget what I want, <laughs> what I want to say is that um, just that it's like if, if you could spend a few minutes just thinking about people have played sort of a father-like role in your life that you may want to offer a special acknowledgement or thank you, even if they're, they're not your father. Or people who have played that role for your children, even if they're not your children's father. And also to think about people who may be, maybe they're grieving the loss of their dad. I've got several really dear friends who, hi there, Karen, I just saw you there. Thank you. That was such a sweet message. Um, I have several friends who have lost their dads. Their dads have died and they're, they've been very, very close to them. And whether it's been, been recent, which is the case for some friends, or it's been years, it can still be a really hard day. And as well, I'm thinking about people who may be recently divorced, so fathers who are single dads or, or widowers who may really need some extra love on Father's Day. I could probably go on and on, right, about all the different variations and the ways that we could possibly uh, consider and offer extra love to people. And along those lines, I, here's, I really want to share the poem that I mentioned at the beginning when I first started this. It's by Naomi Shihab Nye, one of my very favorite poets. And it's called Shoulders. A man crosses the street in rain, stepping gently, looking two times north and south because his son is asleep on his shoulder. No car must splash him, no car drive too near his shadow. This man carries the world's most sensitive cargo, but he's not marked. Nowhere does his jacket say, fragile, handle with care. His ear fills up with breathing. He hears the hum of a boy's dream deep inside him. We're not going to be able to live in this world if we're not willing to do what he's doing with one another. The road will only be wide. The rain will never stop falling. I, I love it when she says, we're not going to be able to live in this world if we're not willing to do what he's doing with one another. And I think that's, that's the thing that inspired me 
to read this poem around Father's Day is that, yes, this is a father carrying his son and carrying him so gently, so carefully, and it's beautiful, you know, and definitely Father's Day is a time to celebrate, you know, the, all of the fathers who have either carried us that way or our children. And yes, also that there are so many people who have played that role who may not be fathers and to really acknowledge them too on this day. And also just the way that she talks about caring one another. So fathers aside, how we can really um, care for one another with such compassion and such care. And I guess that's the thing, <laughs> finally, I just got it. Like, I think that's really um, why this poem speaks to me so much on holidays like this is that how can we, how can we really open up to thinking about what a lot of different people are going through on days like Father's Day and what it brings up for people and how can we just sort of hold all of it, you know, hold the, the celebration and the joy and the acknowledgement of, of all the amazing fathers out there and also to hold the, the loss and the grief. And I want to acknowledge my friend, Linda. Um, I don't know if you're watching Linda right now, but um, Linda told me something this week that she, she said I could share um, publicly, which is that her children's dad has re recently died. And Linda did this really beautiful thing that she invited her children to spend Father's Day with her. And she's creating these wonderful um, ways to acknowledge their dad and to celebrate him with her children. Now, even though Linda and, and her children's dad, they were divorced, but here she is um, totally focused on how hard this day might be for her kids and to create a really special day. Um, I'm not sure exactly, and Linda might come in here later, I might get her to comment, um, but I know she was considering doing things like, um, you know, like really creating like in the moment loveless with them about, you know, things that they really love and remember about their dad. So to bring his spirit into the day. I know she also talked about, which I loved, which was um, inviting them to brunch because this was um, one of their dad's favorite things to do was to have brunch. And also, um, you know, thinking about doing things together that they really love doing with their dad. So I was so moved by Linda's ideas about reaching out to her kids in this way and making sure that she created a way to really honor their dad. And um, maybe that's an inspiration if you know someone in your life, again, who, um, you know, their dad has died or their children's dad have died or, you know, that a way to, like Linda did, to really acknowledge that there's been a great loss and how to bring that love and joy and connection into the day. Anyway, I just, I so appreciated Linda's thoughts on doing that. And along those lines, I just wanna offer, you know, something that some of you may have heard me talking about before, but um, it's my idea of a last minute gift for someone, especially maybe along these lines, someone who maybe needed some extra love, which is to interview um, someone's children. And it can be just a quick like five or 10 minute interview. It could also be an interview um, of, with someone about someone who's passed away. Maybe their father's passed away. And it could be an interview about everything they love about him to again, you know, to honor people's spirits, even if they're not here uh, physically now. So um, I thank you so much for listening. And thank you, Linda, for your beautiful idea about how to celebrate Father's Day with your children um, and to honor their father who passed away. All right, bye-bye.